For those of you who are asking what a hybrid boat is, it's basically a combination of a flats boat, bay boat, and a traditional center console, something in the middle. And what the whole theory behind it is, is that it's a boat that should be good at everything. And from our experiences, the hybrid catamaran is really the style of hybrid that really does well. And it's just because they have the two sponsons, they're a bit wider, they have that extra stability so you can't run these things offshore. It's blowing 20 plus knots here in the Florida Keys and we have absolutely no issue here today. We're in the bay right now, but it's you know two feet or more in here. I know it doesn't translate, but it is. This boat right here, it's fast. It does 72 miles an hour, fuel efficient. You can get two miles per gallon doing 50 miles an hour. It's stable plenty of seating for the family. You can get inshore to a sandbar or to the flats, and you can run 100 miles offshore to swordfish all on the same platform. So especially for the Florida Keys and areas like this with a lot of shallow areas and a lot of great offshore fishing, the Seacat 26 is absolutely perfect for it all. When you're out on boats long enough, it's inevitable that you're gonna come across an issue with your outboard. A test we wanted to do was to lift up the starboard outboard to see if a single 300 will get us home if the worst were to happen. So we're gonna make that happen right now. I lifted up that engine completely out of the water and I'm gonna go ahead and kick it up in gear to see if we can get her up on plane. Here we go. All right, we're getting somewhere. It's coming. There it is. We're up on plane. All right, so as it starts getting momentum, we're at 25 miles an hour, just getting up on plane and reach 32 miles an hour. So once she gets going, that's all you need, more than you need, just to be able to get home in a respectable time frame. So I would say that is quite successful here on the Seacat 26. A question that we get quite often when regarding catamarans is how do they turn? How tight, how tight can you turn? What's the process? What's the difference when it comes to a monohull? So one of the tests we want to do here on the Seacat 26 is we're going to get both boats and spin them in as tight of a radius as we possibly can to see how they do. Currently doing a port side turn right now and doing it with the engines trimmed down completely to start off to see how it does. At the slower speeds you can see it's very tight and if I wanted to get even tighter I could trim the port side engine up a little bit which is going to cheat that bow down over to the port side a little and get even tighter and honestly this might be the tightest turn I've ever done in a small center console like this. Now comes the fun part. It's actually blowing pretty hard down here in the Keys. It's 20 plus knots. We're in the bay, but it's a steady two foot chop in here. So it's enough for what we want to do. This is a hybrid boat meant for offshore, but also the inshore stuff. And it's absolutely perfect for the Keys. So I'm on the Mercury VA 300 boat. I'm going to see what this thing does. And then we're going to compare it to the 300 Suzuki boat. Let's go. All right, so now I'm gonna run this thing a little bit. We've been cruising at 30, 40 miles an hour, but we're headed back to do our walkthrough. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. We're cruising at 30, feels like nothing. And these cats with the dual sponsons really make it smooth. There's a two foot chop here easy. And we're gliding over it like a magic carpet. And I just jumped up to 52 miles an hour, didn't even notice it. I'm about 20% trim right now, 60 miles an hour at a blink of an eye. There is so much power with these V8 Mercury Brados on this package right here. It's absolutely incredible. This boat is so much fun to drive. And again, it takes a little bit of a learning curve. If you get into the cats, you got to play with the trim. As you can see, I'm on single lever mode right here. So it allows me to run both engines if I'm offshore or running longer distances. And I can play with the trim to level the boat out. But this boat really does not toss and turn like some other cats I've been on. Really nice, 8.6 beam. 120 gallons of fuel. We'll get into all those details here in a bit, but really, really nice package and a lot of fun to drive. It feels like a little sports car out on the water, which is really enjoyable. And the better you get at it, the more comfortable you get with it, the more fun it becomes. So just ran the VA 300 boat and we could hit 72. I think we hit 70, 72 on this boat. The difference between the 300s by Suzuki is about four miles an hour. So 68 compared to 72 here, but absolute rocket ships. These things they are fun to drive. I was doing 40 miles an hour, pinned it down and I probably would have lost somebody if I had a passenger on the boat. Really nice. This thing is fun. So now that we've done the performance side of it and we can easily see this thing is impressive. It's one of the most fun boats I've been on and definitely in a long time. We want to ask you, or actually answer the question that we asked at the beginning. The top speed on this one in particular is 72 and it's 68 with Suzuki. I know we mentioned it before, but I want to ask another question. What do you think 
And what's your guess on the starting price of this boat right here, the Seacat 26 Hybrid? Let us know in the comments below and we may answer it at the end. So again, this one does 72 miles an hour, like we mentioned, has 120 gallons of fuel, two 60 gallon tanks, gives you 200 miles of range at 40 miles an hour. So they have rod holders off the transom here. They even have a little starboard piece on this one for your knives and things like that if you're gonna be doing some fishing. You got dual live wells right here, 25 gallons a piece. Gel coated in a nice blue color to keep those baits nice and happy. We have this obviously in a down position where you can jump up, you can fish, get it out of the way, whatever you wanna do. But if you're gonna make a longer run, basically just click that right there and you have a nice transom seat for two and this is one of the best seats in the house obviously you're going to do the least amount of jumping back here so nice to have that versatility get that out of the way and again you're back in action doing your fishing i'll show you the bilges you got two of them one in each bonson nice access for a 26 you get back to your valves your bilge pumps and all that stuff you can work on it very easily and comfortably JL Audio sound system throughout this boat. You're gonna see it everywhere. Right here, we have a tackle box storage and we have a port and starboard. This is a dealer boat that hasn't been touched in a while. And right here in the leaning post, as you can see, we have a retractable angle cooler. So you can pull this thing up and out of the way if you want to access your drinks. And then obviously, and actually this could be used as another seat if you'd like to sit back here and you know do some fishing, whatever you wanna do, tuck it away get it out of the way and then you have some drawers right here additional tackle or anything you'd like to store little tackle station right here to rig your baits or slice you know fruits anything you'd want to do there cup holders vertical rod holders here as well as a full rocket launcher on the hard top and underneath this seat you can raise this up and you can see you have your three house batteries back here and just something i want to mention with the dual sponsons all the power and fuel is separated so they can be shared they cannot be transferred but it's nice to have them both separated engine engine port and starboard working our way over to the helm area it's all nice and clean you can see you have two helm seats adjustable seating you have a 10 inch JL Audio subwoofer on the bottom, two Garmin MFDs, your switch panel down the middle, your Mercury vessel view. You got your Garmin VHF speaker right here. Fusion head unit, VHF mic right there. Storage up top, I'll crack this open right here. Oversized hard top, which provides a great amount of shade. And check this thing out, how cool is this? I was actually looking for the battery switches in the console where it was, where it was customary, but they actually put them right here. So it could not be any easier just to come in here, turn your batteries on and off without having to fumble and dive into the console space. All right, now we're walking up the port side. Check out the size of this fish box. This is insulated, macerated, and they even added rod holder storage horizontally down the middle there and a bucket insert back here. So one of the nice things about the catamarans is the tremendous amount of space that is added by the two sponsons and all that room that they have to work with. Checking out the console, one of the things you're gonna see with the cats is that there is a tunnel down the middle so they don't have the drop down, they usually don't have a head. Mainly this is to store batteries, your electronics, all your rigging to easily access it. Otherwise it's used as storage as we're doing it right here today during our shoot. Forward of the console, you're gonna have a great forward facing seat for two right here, which doubles up as a cooler. Crack this thing open, throw all your drinks in there. It'll stay cold all day long. Otherwise, you can also use that as storage. Here, you have two seats, port and starboard as well. This is a great spot to just run if you're in the bay. Backrest is removable. You can get this thing out of the way just like so. This, this upholstery is just attached by Velcro, which is pretty nice. And check out the amount of storage they put in here. So you can put tackle boxes, fenders, whatever it is you wanna throw in this area. And that's duplicated over in the other side. More storage right here. And we'll work our way up to the casting platform, which again, this right here on this style of hybrid boat is perfect if you wanna sight fish, throw a cast net. This is where you wanna do that stuff and you can get into very shallow water. This boat has a 14 inch draft. So I'm gonna open some of these boxes here just so you can see the amount of storage that you get up on the bow of the 26 sea cat as well check this out everything is finished nicely done from the bottom of the hatches to the interior of these some of the bigger manufacturers you come across don't even finish these boxes so you can see how sea cat has gone above and beyond and the quality of this boat is fantastic as we've seen all the way through close these up and i'm going to finish things off right here with the anchor locker pop that up that is also finished it has a little compartment for your anchor you can store everything away nice and clean here and it's not going to bounce around as you are running the boat 
One thing I wanted to point out, this boat in particular was built not as much of a fishing version as that one. As you can see, that one has the spider legs with the three rows of vertical rod holders. This one does not. So you can work either option, but that is more likely what you're gonna see out in the water from SeaCat. So we're wrapping up our shoot on the SeaCat 26, heading back in to uh, SD Marine down here in Isla Morada. And I can say, I, I really enjoy being able to grab a boat like this and spend some time with it. Have Robert, the owner, just say, hey, have at it, do your thing, figure it out. And that's usually how this stuff happens. A catamaran takes a little bit more of a learning curve to figure out the trim and things like that, obviously going into turns. But once you figure it out, this thing is like an automatic car to a, a stick shift. I enjoy driving a stick shift car, so that's what it resembles to me. So once you get it, I mean, it becomes a really fun driving experience. So this thing is fast, it's fuel efficient, it's good looking, it's priced fairly. For the Florida Keys in areas like this, I think it's phenomenal, but not just, just that. If you're the type of person that likes to go offshore one day, you know, to on, on, on a two to four foot day, and then the next day you wanna go to the sandbar with the family, and you wanna look good doing it every single time, this is definitely something to look at. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out. We'll answer all those for you or we'll connect you to the owners or one of the dealers directly. Just in case you haven't already, like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends. It really helps us a ton and it fuels us here at Center Consoles Only. So thank you very much. My name is Alan Blanco. I appreciate the support from our entire team and we'll be back again, sacrificing ourselves for the greater good of the boating community very soon.